Use your eyes, man. Use your eyes. Okay, jumping in the next set, we got Utopian Ray, you know, fresh off that loss against Nick C down here in Losers, fighting off against Dilith. Dillard. Dillithin. Dillith of the 3000. Dillium of the 3000. So this is Rob versus Palu. We just saw Palu. To Ray's a little bit different than uh, Jen. Yeah, man, and you have to think, if you're Dill, uh, already playing against another Palu, you're probably in, in the state of mind where you're just like, oh my god. Another one, right? But keep in mind, everybody plays 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 a character differently. So Ray, uh, Ray being a more, uh, I'm gonna say, compared to Jen, they 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 both can play aggressive, but Ray likes to play most of most of his matches on keeping you oppressed in the side of the, on the side of the screen. Whereas Jen plays neutral, small, in a in a way where he doesn't go just baiting with everything. Bait and punish everything, sorry. Yeah, speaking of bait and punish, you saw him bait out that uh, air dodge to come in. Got that down air. Not, not not enough to get the spike off stage, but still trying to apply some big damage here. Now with Rob, Dill uh, doesn't mind being off stage as much, but that was a good call from Ray. There's a time when Dill can try to sneak in that little uh, uh, little scoop with that double jump. Try to gain some additional height, but Ray's out there trying to get that edge guard. Both, both people had pretty even percents. Um, Ooh, the point explosive blank. flame call out. And, uh, Got him. Ray understanding that Dill actually was probably going to back her. So he was like, you know, I'm just going to throw it out. And I know you're going to get hit because you're coming with me as a, with an aggressive option. And Ray immediately air dodging out of that uh, out before that upper hit. Now remember that Dill just lost to Jen. Okay. As you were saying. He just <laughs> lost to Jen. But that means he's trying out here for more blood against Ray on his Palu. So here we go. Two stocks a piece. Gonna be able to get that parry. Eventually, you know, players eventually got to that level where parries just become second nature against long lasting moves like that. Cause it's like, it's super easy just to let go of shield as they approach you while that move's coming out. Speaking of super easy, that recovery definitely wasn't as we saw Ray actually angled himself a bit away from the ledge, taking a risk, <laughs> taking a risk because he knew that Dill wanted that two first fight. And Ray was spamming that down tilt because he was trying to get those active hitboxes out there to catch Dill's little a little bounce off the double jump. Yeah, and this is hard. This is hard for Dill because you know with Rob up he not having a hitbox. Ray is taking full advantage of that, forcing Dill. Look at that beautiful air dodge trap as the tossed. He got tossed, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, 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 twice. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, I thought he was going to get like an up smash after that of that. Good uh, evasion from Ray. Yo, I'm going to go for the directional air dodge. All right, but this is Dill. This is aggressive Dill. This is not a Dill that we're used to seeing, man. And it's smart Dill, too. You saw him uh, try it. The second he feels like he's unsafe, he either just rolls away or does a fade away forward air just to like keep applying the pressure with the fair. But you know what? Going to be able to get caught by Ray's Nair as he just jumps in, mashes that out able to catch Dill off guard. Yeah, man, and it was a great option by Dill, I mean by Ray, because he it was his longest option. <laughs> Damn! Okay, so we what happened there is Ray tried to go for Nair against Dill's shield. That's punishable. He opted to go for the Z drop of his uh, gyro. Puts him in such a spot that he can get the arm rotor right afterwards. Smart game plan from Dill. Hey, it's Remember, Ray. Nair is punishable against Palu. You just gotta hold shield. Rob's Nair is punishable? No, uh, well, yes, they're both punishable, well, but yeah. pa Palu's Nair, which... It can be tough when you're fighting against Palo when you just get hit by Nair and does so much damage, but it's one weakness is shield. Okay. Okay. Down there. has to be. Oh, look, I they like that. Okay. Oh my god. Good night. That killed. Wow. Did it kill because he double jumped? Uh. I'm Who not knows? Sure. I, that, that just looked like it was, it was strong as hell. But, the, but this is what I want to point out. He He's teleporting up and using the, the air drift to actually. Damn. Right in her face. Yeah, he tried to. He, he did a good. He did a successful job. Okay, maybe it was the double. Who knows? I, I think, think he was that just was air dodge. Air dodge? Don't air dodge when you're sent off to the blast zone, guys. Yeah, that you're, doesn't work. It's been proven false. That doesn't work. Don't do it. Need to do it. Here we are, Devin, with the frame by frame, and yep, he, yeah, that he was an air dodge because yeah, he went invisible and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was a good, uh, successful in avoiding the down air, but not in avoiding the back air. So here we go. Game one, going to Dillard, going to PS2, Palo's home base. It matches and her hair, and there's no reason not to. Already 61%, putting Dill in a parallel situation. Dill can't even get back to the stage right now. Ray, Ray, calmate, por favor, calmate. Vamos al neto, Ray. Vamos al neto. Hold on. Si, sí, senor. <laughs> yes, <awesome. laughs> 
Okay. We have to talk about this pressure that you are putting on Dill. He is not letting up. My man has not taken a single hit. Oh, the dodge! That, that, was, was, that, that was pretty fantastic. Sexy. I liked it. That was sexy. That's what that was. Let's go, Ray. Dill's turn. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is an RPG, dog. <laughs> Welcome to Street Fighter. We take turns out here. I'm so done. <laughs> Okay, Dill's doing a good job of evading these hits now. Again, doing those... Uh, whenever Rob does those fadeaway forward airs, it's so hard to punish, because he might as well be using a sword at this point. Oh, no. Not like bit, this. Wasn't able to get uh, hit rate due to his low profile. But, uh, you know, he is... Sorry, we're just going to go ahead and fair Dill all, all, all the way over there. But, uh, you know, Dill is doing a great job of actually just spacing himself out now and not getting hit with... Pretty much a lot of the things that Rage hit him before. Okay, up there, not gonna put him in a position to air dodge. Ooh. Explosive flame not getting it stuffed out by the fact that he just sent Gyro there. Up smash isn't gonna kill Ray just yet, but Dill is putting himself in a position to make this comeback. Yeah, I mean, he got the up smash out shield, then he just runs out there, gonna be able to punish, swift punish against that arm rotor. Not enough to get the kill just yet, but Ray's got a pretty healthy lead. He, 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 can run, he can run with this. <laughs> All gyro down. Tossed. Just landed right in front of him. Baited out. He's going to go for a swing. Catches him floating out there. Going to be able to forward air. Three stocks to one. Dill's struggling. Find this kill. He's already got him at 150%. Rob doesn't struggle to get kills usually. Like, this guy kind of hits hard. That's death. Yeah, no. On That's the platform. He, he, it, he wanted it, to make sure. He, he wanted to make sure. Poison. He could have gone for the platform. He could have buried him. You know? It doesn't matter. One of those would have killed. One of them takes significantly less work. All right, that jab? <laughs> that jab? <laughs> Why did it feel like it did so much? I, I, Dill just was stuck in the sauce. Okay, we're floating up higher. Good okay. Nair from Ray, pushing him back off. He's using that option as, as a great uh, coverage, man. Anytime that, anytime that Dill does try and jump, he'll use it immediately just to stuff that out. And obviously the Nair can lead to so much of things oh! up there. And he confirmed off that. Down tilt oh, the gyro into forward smash? Sick. Okay, so he's playing to bait out the high recovery. Right now covering, waiting for a roll. Dill just waits for him to commit to a button and shoots off the, the gyro. Gyro, one of the safer options to go for if your opponent's uh, distance away. Yeah, you know, that's good. <laughs> he what? wants to pick up his toy. Ray's not letting him. You see him? He's like, no, it's mine. He's not sharing. You know, but I, but I like it because, you know, Ray, that's that's a clear indication of, of the fact that Ray knows Dill's game plan, and he's he, he's fight, he's playing perfectly against it, right? Using these auto reticles and explosive flames to just kind of kind of dictate the tone of this, and Dill not knowing what to do as he gets back and all the way across the stage with the Nair, not going to die just yet. Explosive flame. All right, auto reticle, putting Dill in this perilous situation. I, I, like down. Gyro, yeah. I want to mention how Ray pretty much just played reactionary that entire final stock. I felt like he wasn't really committing to anything mm -hmm. until Dill pushed a button first. The only thing he would commit to was a jump. Yeah, and, and then he would just wait for Dill to just like push a button. He would punish accordingly. Even at the end there, he waited for that gyro throw or timed it. They knew, or he knew he was going to throw out that gyro, threw out an explosive flame to catch him. Or just threw it out an explosive flame because that's what you do as Palo when your opponent's off stage. Yeah, I mean, because that eats resources. Yeah, why not? I mean, it, it makes you uh, it makes you air dodge. It makes you double double jump to try and get out of it. And then you can just get either a nair, nair off stage or a fair or a bear. Uh, it, it's a it's great option coverage, man. <laughs> Palo's lit. Palo's lit. None of those you guys for getting that sub. I saw that Papa Rick. Don't think I didn't see that sub. Thank you, Papa Rick. Grass is grass. I saw that a while ago. I'm trying to find out where do, where do we where do you see them? Can we see them anywhere? You can see them right there. Or there. There's a lot. Any of them. There's a lot of screens. Pick, pick your decision. Here we go. Town oh and my God. city. Uh, don't die yet. Don't die yet, please. No, there's no way. Not like this. Yeah. Okay. I think you're misunderstanding Rob's recovery. No, Ever I, so slightly. No, I, I wasn't. I was just expecting Ray to just do some dirty oh, Ray yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he, he did fast Spike ball. him because He did fast ball to the blast zone, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could see why you'd be spooked. I was kind of spooked. I was like, just not, not yet. Please, not yet. <laughs> okay. Good answer. Playing around those platforms bit by bit. Okay. We're getting some combos. When you when you combos off projectiles, auto-reticle, explosive flame into auto-reticle, like, that's, that's my... <laughs> 
That's, that's, a, that's No a CQC required. Okay, Dill trying to get back on here. Uses the platform as an assist to regain his uh, fuel. Platform Chan coming in clutch as I like the delay to actually just drop down with the Nair, putting himself in a position to actually take Ray off stage right now. Dill ha is poised to take the stock. Great coverage. Not going to two frame the uh, stops the wall. The uppie. Yeah, the right idea just didn't get the correct timing. There we go. Nair not going to be able to do the trick just yet. Throwing out the laser to forward, give himself some breathing room to get back onto the stage. Barely avoids that Nair. Comes down with a Nair of his own as an answer. He's doing it so well, man. Is this going to be it? Oh, good match. Great directional air dash to the, uh, to the stage. But just like that, Ray is just going to be able to end that off with a jump A button. Jump A button. Okay, big damage coming from Dill. Gets the up air. Not enough to get the kill. I know. Doesn't have rage on that one. That Damn! One. Just toss it. All right. I like the coverage I mean, from when Dill. I was a kid, my mom told me not to throw toys, you know? Don't don't feel like crap at people, but but it's okay because when it I was works a kid, for Dill. When I was a kid, I played I played with Beyblades, and that that was fun. Uh, was it? Are you sure? Are great. You sure, dog? Yeah, man. Let it, let it rip, huh? <laughs> hey, here we go. <laughs> Dill's back, baby. <laughs> hey, applying a lot of pressure with these up airs on that platform. Okay, I see. This is actually a slightly benefiting Dill, right? It might be one of the reasons why I picked the stage. Those platforms allow Rob to be able to mix up. Oh. Hold on. How did he survive? I think uh, Ray messed up an input. I think he wanted to do a turnaround grab. Maybe. So that back door to put Ray Dill in an awful position. Okay. I like the down to uh, actually force out an option from Ray. Putting Dill in position to get a follow up. Oh, okay. Ray forcing out that double jump from Dill, but we still have that up B. And notice that Dill, when Dill's actually coming back, he is delaying that uh, that, dro that drop down there. And that's, that, that's good because that's an adaptation. He understands that Ray is going to. Input something eventually, whether it's explosive flame or nair, and that's when Dill's going to capitalize on that too, just by dropping or dropping up uh, and doing that. Nair. Okay, again, chilling backwards. Dill recognizes that he'll die to the smallest little baby tap, so he's trying to play as passive as possible, trying to keep Ray at a safe distance, shoulder <laughs> length. <laughs> that's stall, man. <laughs> there we go, another stock, another nair, taking that said stock. Dill on his final like life. Here in this set, it guarantee if he gets loses one more stock, he's gonna go down with a fifth place finish. Actually, Grudil great with the great weight, knowing that uh, Utopian Ray definitely uh, just matches air dodge immediately because he knows that Dill's gonna want the want the up air. It's a great weight by him, and he's 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 getting he's putting a lot more percent on the board, but he needs to take control of this match. And right now, my man Ray is uh, swarming. There we go, just spawn off the ledge, double jump into spawning the gyro. I think you wanted to try to reflect that, maybe? Oh, this is bad. Good mash. Still trying to go for that tech, but you saw him continuously going forward. Just in case he wanted to tech to the right, gets the kill. Final stocks, y'all. Winner of this is going to move on to face off against Nick C and loser semis. I was wondering when that gyro was going to come down because he threw it up. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> Toss it up, man. Is it coming up anytime soon? <laughs> Yeah, you check your watch. Like the patience. Watch for a shooting star in the sky. Sure. Like the patience by Ray, waiting for Dylan to make a move. So uh -huh. We're just parrying these items. Ray, just well, I mean, Ray just took unnecessary damage trying to pick up that gyro. Looks like he had some trouble there. Yeah, hit that gyro first. Turn it against you, you know, sway it like a Pokemon. Ray there. parried in there, and Ray. Explosive play not going to do it. Auto radical forcing Dill to come up to the platform once again. Going to get clipped by the last hit of Nair. Not going to do it. Is he going to die to Nair one more time this game? He S may. Say it ain't so. It's Palutena. He may. I will not go. Oh, that's right. That was new. Oh, no. Back air. Good tech from Dill. Barely managing to get back onto the stage. That was a back throw. If I ever seen one in my freaking life. But the fact that he was ready for that tech, though. Like, out of all the times that Ray went down and back air, which is like none in this set. Dill was ready for it. Well, now, Dill's going to have to be super careful. If he jumps, he's dead. If he holds shield, he's dead. He's just got to... He's dead all the way. Just keep, at, keep him away. Got to play keep away. Okay, you see Ray trying to bait out some options, not committing anything, just going for these jumps. 170% on Dill. There's no way he'll be able to take at this percent either, so Ray gets a little overzealous. Gets, goes for the forward air off the platform, punishing the laser shot. That's going to be Dill going down with the fifth place finish. Here at Zeno 171. 
Ray Uto of the Utopians is going to be moving on into loser semis to face off against Nick C. By the way, status updates on the rest of the top eight. Uh, we had uh, Utopian Ray beat King Arc. Okay. Before this set, Jewel beat Ralphie. Okay. Nick C beat Jewel. Ooh. And so now we're in loser semis. Nick C beat. <laughs> Captain Falcon versus Robin. Yeah, man. I mean, I figure if he gets in his face, it's, he's just going to explode. Well, Jewel was so actually Jewel's messing around with Lucina as of yesterday. I don't uh, know. He's not yeah. in the mainer, but he's like, he's it's something he, he wants to put in his pocket. He pulled her out against um, uh, uh, Dill. Oh, really? Yeah, I game missed one. That. He got washed, but it's okay. Well, you know,